Hello all. In this video, I will show how to generate publication quality images using UCSF camera. Okay, so let's start. So for that, you have to click on this icon, uh, camera icon. So camera will start. So this is main uh, window of camera and I will here open one structure of human CHK ones checkpoint can is one with elastoric inhibitor and for that either you can do download the uh, file from pdb or either you can uh, directly fetch uh, the pdb structure from here if you know the id so i know the id of that complex so um, i can fetch it from here so 3gvs is the id and then click on fetch so this now the structure of complex is now on the screen so you can see here this this is this is elastoric inhibitor and this is um, human chk1 it is atp binding site so in order to generate uh, receptor ligand interaction uh, image we have to do uh, first we have to represent ligand then uh, we have to represent the receptor residues which interact with um, with with the elastoric inhibitor. So I'm going to hide everything. So hide and ribbon hide. Okay. So now everything is hidden here. And then first I will so I will uh, I will represent ligand so i have selected ligand here i know that this is actually non-standard section uh, and you can click on this three letter code this is ligand so uh, click on actions then atom spawns so so this is ligand and if you want to uh, actually you can zoom zoom in or zoom out okay you can zoom in or zoom out so if you want to bring it in center then you can click on focus okay so now okay. you can change the color of this ligand inhibitor okay orange and then color it by heteroatom and then you can also uh, make the nice representation if you want to show the surfaces uh, and there is one option under this surface menu is mess okay so uh, now this is ligand so what I have to do is now we have to show the residues of CHK1 human CHK1 which interact with this elastoric inhibitor so for that I'm going to use command line of UCSF chimera so either you can uh, select it uh, from sequence like go to, you can go to tools and then uh, go to sequence and click on sequence and from here you can select residues and you can uh, sew it so suppose you there is one residue which interact is 93 so where is 93 uh, so suppose this f93 interact so you can click on actions atom bond so and then this is visible so in this way uh, you can select all residues and you can uh, you can make the representation you can create the representation another way uh, uh, what I prefer is to use the command line uh, that is available under tools standard controls and then you have to click on command line and then this is command uh, which is which is select um, which is select colon and code of the ligand code of the inhibitor agy then space jet 
less than 3.5 so either you can uh, write here ZR also that is uh, residue and Z is all atoms so here um, this command is actually is uh, about selecting all residues which is within 3.5 angstrom of this ligand okay So you can. So now, uh, when you press Enter, so after uh, writing this command, you can press Enter, and then you have to click on Action and Atom Bond. So, so you now you can see all residues which are within uh, 3.5 angstrom of this inhibitor. Okay. So now you can see this. So you can see the side chain and main chain. If you want to uh, hide the main chain, like if you want to make this representation more clear, then better to represent main chain in the form of ribbon. So you can click on ribbon soap. So action ribbon soap. So now all the main chains are in the in ribbon form, and the side chains they are in stick form. So you can now click on clear selection because all residues have been selected. So basically uh, you can, I, I prefer to choose 3.5 angstrom. You can also give this 4 angstrom. So all residues within 4 angstrom, they, they will be shown here. So you can show the hydrogen bonds here. You can uh, select, so for showing hydrogen bond, you have to select this ligand. So click on residue, AGY, okay. And then click on tools, structure, surface binding analysis, find H bond. And uh, you can click this line 2.0 and yeah the black color it is okay so you have to click on only find H bonds with at least one in selected so this you have to check this box and then you can if you want to write the file <coughs> then it's okay you can the all had uh, information related to hydrogen bonds they will be in this file H bond info so here uh, this file is already in the folder, so I'm going to overwrite it. So you can see this hydrogen bonds. Okay. So if you want to change the uh, representation of hydrogen bonds, then you can go to uh, tools click on general controls and then pseudo bond panel and then click on hydrogen bonds attributes and then you can click on this line style and see this is in different uh, presentation okay show and then we have this action you can see all these hydrogen bonds here okay so in this way you can show all hydrogen bonds and you can also uh, from here uh, in pseudobond panel attributes you can also uh, I think uh, let me see that. actually you can also show the distances so here I'm not showing all distances because here you can
so you have to select everything now if you want to remove the surface representation you can remove it So suppose you want to uh, sew this aromatic ring, then you can sew it from rings, okay, aromatic circle, then this, this is nice, okay, so these are aromatic rings. You can also represent the lichen in ball and stick form, okay, so this is also nice. So in this way you can uh, represent your ligand and receptor in very nice way so suppose you, if you want to sew all these um, things so this is also a nice representation okay but here you can't sew all the side chains so better it is it is nice to sew uh, combined uh, like uh, either you can change the transparency of the surfaces so yeah so this is also nice So clear selection and the important thing is to label uh, residues okay so labeling of residues it can uh, I prefer to relabel so you can click on tools and then utilities and to relabels So for 2D labels, you have to click on either any part of the residue where you, which you want to uh, label. So suppose you want to label this, then you have to click on this tarot 173. So you can write here 173. You can make it bold. Okay. And you can move this label to desired position. So this is proline line 133 so p133 and it should not be much crowded so you can just place accordingly f93 then you have this aspartate d94 Glutamate D205. So, in this way, you can label all residues, and now you can save this image. Okay, save image as receptor ligand PNG, and then you can change the DPI here 300, 400, you can make it 500 also. Uh, so better like if you will increase the DPI then the size of the file will be very large so it is always like 300 DPI is okay so save click on save okay so you can do you can save another image like if you want to sew its maze so surface so save image
so representation is very uh, it matters when you uh, when you are preparing a manuscript when you want to publish your research work then representation of images uh, like representation of receptor ligand interaction representation of uh, 3d models they are very important so you can use ucsf chimera for very high quality representation high, uh, to generate high quality images and if you want to save this session so suppose you you want to save this session and um, you want to start again then you can uh, save this session as image.python okay so this extension will be i think automatically added Association has been written, so I will check it here. So in this folder, we see this image.python is the session, and these are the images. You can check the quality of images. So you can see if you zoom in, then you you can see the quality. It's very high quality images. So in this way, you can generate high quality images. And don't forget to uh, uh, press on clear selection because this it's a uh, ligand is still selected. So you see this green. Uh, if so, if you want to save the image, then click on clear selection to unselect everything. So now you also you can see. So um, in hbond.info file, you can see uh, information related to all hydrogen bonds. Okay. So there are four hydrogen bonds. Two hydrogen bonds are with water molecules, and two are with uh, two hydrogen bonds are with uh, receptor so suppose I close this session and if I want to start this session again then you have to locate this file so suppose you have uh, saved this session as image.python then you can open this session again and you can do all changes So thank you all for watching this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel uh, that is Zipka Silco Bio and I will keep uploading such type of videos related to molecular modeling, bioinformatics. Okay. Thank you all for your support. Thank you very much.